Hello and welcome back to New Homes Historian and another development tour. Well, this time we are in Staffordshire and the market town of Stone. Now this development is shared by two developers um, and at the current time of making this video, one of the developers have finished and one is still going on. Now this development is shared by both Persimmon Homes and Anwell Homes who are a Welsh based developer um, and I think they build very similar homes to Red Row really that, that they just or most Welsh developers have this kind of style all of their own which is which is quite unique but the development's called Uddle Grange which is as I said is in stone and stone is a such a lovely marketplace um, lovely lovely little center such a nice place to live so Persimmon are building this development here and it's quite a substantial development of over 300 different plots and will which you can see on the right hand side they um, their development isn't to the scale of what that what Persimmon are building they've only building 81 plots on this development but you can see some of their house types now and a lot of the house types from Amwell are named after Welsh places. But on the left here, you can see um, the, the persimmon house types. Now, believe it or not, look at this down here. There are a couple of bungalows here. Now, persimmon don't build bungalows very, very often. So it's quite unique to see these. But um, you can see, it's, uh, like you can on every single persimmon development, you can see those staple house types, can't you? Um, the Cheddleton the Hatfield, um, you can see that three story property there, that three, three, well, sort of three and a half stories. You can see the Hanbury, all those classic persimmon house types. So let's have a little look at the style of these. Now they've got a bit of detail on them, haven't they? Um, but the Anwell houses here, look, you can see those house types. Um, they're quite nice looking. I've seen better from Amwell, if I'm honest. Um, you know, it'd be nice to see a little bit more of the elevations here. Some, maybe some tile hung elevations. But some of the house types are as follows. Straight in front, you've got that sort of three-story house. That's actually called the Snowdon. They've got the house type, the Tembury and the Cardigan. Um but yeah, they look all right, don't they? They've all got this sort of stone effect um, windowsill, haven't they? And look at the colour in that sort of duck egg colour, um, which they've painted the external um, doors, all of that sort of colour. But actually, they've got that kind of red row home sort of garage door sort of um, colour into them. Um, but they're nice. But like you say, persimmon in front now, very big sort of um three story there hidden in the roof there um good good enough house type we've got on the persimmon one we've got some quite nice elevations we've got some render etc haven't we but we're still in the anvil section now um you can see the house types here you've got that lovely sort of two and a half story um detached house that's the biggest design that they they've done on this site but you can see just up here the countryside um it's just on the fringe of that but i do believe that will more than likely be built on into the near future um as um, stone expands and a lot of the outer areas of um of the town of stone are extending um you know but you can see here lots of mature trees look these lovely corridors of trees um which have uh, nice swathes of uh, landscape in there, which really, really do help a development like this. You know, we've got footpaths. There's good gardens as well to these as well. Look, you can see the, the designs there. And Persimmon have got a three-storey property there I've seen. Um, but yeah, nice. You can see we've got grass on either side, some really mature oak trees as well. So I... In terms of persimmon development, I think there's a lot going for this. It is, it does look really sort of well thought out. And you know, I've never 
The simming designs have never wowed me, but I think the layout of this is uh, is not not too bad actually. You know, it's got it's got a good feel about it. I mean, obviously the road isn't completed yet, but you know, oh, a couple of Ruffords there. It's just I don't see I haven't seen many Ruffords on this particular development, and it's been built in two phases. Now that typical missing window kind of Victorian Victor that Victorian window tax effect thing they've gone there. You can see there you've got a sustainable drainage pond there as well. Can you see that little house type over there? It's sort of just next to that one. It sort of sticks out where the white van's parked. That design is a really old persimmon design and they just fit that in every now and again. Um, and they've been building that for a num good good number of years um, and just popping the odd one or two on to a development. But I think you've got a good feel of um, Uddle Grange now. And will they have completely sold out their property now and that development is now closed. But there are other annual sites um, around um, around the area. The nearest from here, I think, is in Wellington in Telford. But um, I think it's a good laid out development. I like this sort of look at this corridor of trees that just run down there. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. That'd be really helpful. And I will join you on the next film. Take care. See you soon.